What's up everyone? This is Edward from Carbide3D. This is the second part of uh, Carbide Answers video. We had a customer asking uh, how to make this sign and I did a video earlier uh, showing you how to do it in uh, the standard version of Carbide Create, just uh, 2.5D. And this video is going to show you how to make it with the new Carbide Create Pro. So the first thing we want to do is uh, I've got the same file loaded. If you want to know how to make this design, uh, watch that other video. Uh, but to make this in the pro version, we go into model. And the first thing we want to do is select the border of the part. And this is going to create essentially the base material. So we're going to take this shape and we're going to effectively extrude it up uh, the thickness of the material, which is about half an inch. So to do that, we just select this border, and for the parameter, we want to do flat and the height, half inch. We're going to name this base material. And you can see here, we're going to use the add method. So this is going to extrude it up half an inch. And we can click apply. And then if you do show 3D, here we have a half inch thick piece of material that is uh, the same dimension as the vector we had selected. So that's pretty easy. Uh, next thing we want to do is select all these stars and we're going to click the shape button again. And for these I want to do them round. Um, I'm going to name this stars and instead of an add we're going to do a subtract and you'll see what happens here. And we click apply. So now we can do show 3D and we effectively have rounded stars into the material. Hide 3D and we want to do the same thing for all the stripes and the letters. So we'll do another shape. and logo and we want to do round and we want to subtract so if we apply that we can show the model when we're done and that's it so the cool thing about this is um, to do the toolpath we go to toolpath mode we select the outside border and then we say 3D finish. So we've got a ball nose cutter here, but this could actually be a square. Click OK. Gives you an estimate. Now if we click show simulation, that is what our part will look like but it looks like our cutter is a little bit too big. So I'm going to hide that, go in here, select eighth inch end mill, and I'm going to set these speeds a little bit faster, 40 and 20. We'll do a full 50% step over. You can see it's recalculating the tool paths on the fly. Click OK. And now if we show simulation, it's a little bit better. What we could do is we can delete this and we could select all these stars, say 3D finish, and we're going to use a small We'll use a 16th inch. Now if we go in here, these stars should be a little bit more detailed. Yeah, those look pretty good. And it looks like we have some really thin spots here in this font. So I'm just going to select these, we'll do another 3D finish, same cutter. Show simulation again. There we 
There we go. Now you can select all of the stripes. And we can do another 3D finish, but this time we'll use a bigger cutter. Let's go back to the 201. You can see it's calculating here. Show simulation. And I probably shouldn't have done that until it was done calculating. Yeah, hide that. Finish. Okay, those look good. Click OK. Drop it into the net. Stripes. And there we go.